Greetings students, my name is Mayur Bale. I am assistant professor in civil department WIT Solapur. Today we are going to study about the SVI and how to analyze SVI in ASP that is activated sludge process. So what are the learning outcomes? Students will be able to analyze the sludge volume index in ASP that is activated sludge process in wastewater treatment plant. So what is mean by SVI? Before that we have to understand why we have to study SVI. See the purpose of the return sludge which is coming from the secondary treatment plant to the bioreactor is very much important to maintain f bm ratio and MLSS concentration in the bioreactor. Okay. So how how much to the degree so that we have to control that will be clear up by the concept of SVI. SVI mostly targets that how much amount of return sludge we have to add up into the influent so that the rate of f bam ratio and the rate of MLSS concentration should be maintained. Mostly it is focused on the concentration of microorganisms in the biological reactor. So what is the definition of SVI? SVI is basically defined as the volume in milliliters occupied by one gram of activated sludge which has been settled for 30 minutes in one liter of graduated cylinder. It is determined experimentally. Here in you can see in the diagram the secondary clarifier has been converted into the one liter of graduated cylinder. Whatever the MLSS or the concentration of microorganisms which are present in, in the uh, biological reactor or the aeration tank will be shifted into the secondary clarifier. After 30 minutes, few part of the concentration of sludge which is present in the secondary clarifier will get settled down with the help of gravity. Now you can see the difference between the two uh, parts. One is the sludge and another one is the supernatant. The supernatant have a volume of Q as the influent has the volume of Q. It means whatever the wastewater which is coming into the ASP will be taken out from the clarifier as a supernatant and then it will be treated in the next treatment units. But the sludge which has been settled in 30 minutes, we have to focus on that. Here, what the definition says is one gram of the sludge or the activated sludge which has been settled, we have to calculate the volume of that sludge. So we, have, uh, we will get that how much the activated sludge has been generated and how much concentration of the sludge to be added into the influent. But for that, we also have to understand what is the concentration of microorganisms in this in that sludge will be for that the very much important parameter we have to understand is the mlss in the biological reactor that is xt if you see in the diagram the mlss which is measured in mg per liter will be degraded slowly slowly uh, with the help of microorganisms and it will be transferred to the secondary clarifier but only few part of that sludge will be in the uh, uh, in that secondary clarifier as two important parameters are here is one is mlss in the biological reactor and another one is a settled volume of sludge in the secondary clarifier by interlinking the both we will get to know how much concentration of return sludge we have to add now why i am mostly focusing on the MLSS that is XT. See in the biological reactor only we have to maintain the F by M ratio that is food and microorganisms. If we are having a large concentration of return sludge in the biological reactor automatically the MLSS will push up that is concentration of microorganisms will push up and the food that is the BOD which is present in the biological reactor will go down. What does it mean? large amount of organic matter is present which may not be needed 
to degrade the food or the uh, BOD in the biological reactor. Similarly, if we may, if we decrease the return sludge rate, that is the activated microorganisms in the biological reactor, automatically the concentration of microorganisms will go down, which is very much lesser than required for the removal of BOD in the biological reactor. So here the re relating the both parameter we can calculate how much rate of sludge we have to add into the biological reactor. Therefore the return sludge is mostly calculated with the help of SVI. So let us see what are the important nature of SVI so that we can maintain these parameters. Mostly SVI is maintained in between 80 to 150 ml per gram. Okay, it is a quality indicator basically. It reflects the settling quality of sludge as SVI increases. That is, if it is greater than 150 ml per gram, automatically what happens? The sludge will settle very much slowly and it does not compact well. Therefore, it, it will happen that most of the sludge will remain suspended in, in the uh, effluent and automatically it will transfer to the next unit that, uh, that we don't want at all. So we have to maintain the SVA between 80 to 150 ml per gram. Now, uh, if we are comparing and interlinking the MLSS in the biological reactor and the settled volume in the secondary clarifier, we have to define the SVI with respect to these parameters. So how I can write the SVI? It is the VS in ml per liter divided by MLSS that is XT in mg per liter. That is the definition of SVI in simple form. But you can see there is a variation in units. To make them equal in the units, I have to multiply by 1000 so that I can convert uh, milligrams into grams. So I can write SVI is equal to 1000 VS divided by XT and my unit will be ML per gram. But in some problems what happens, they interchange the units. So we have to fix up such kind of a problems. So if I divide 10 raised to 6 uh, to the SVI, I can get the unit of SVI as liters per mg. So how I can write SVI for liters per mg will be equal to SVI in ml per gram divided by 10 raised to 6. So here two parameters are important and what are their concentration will happen that will be decided by SVI. So let us have few review questions and let us understand how much you have grasped from that uh, series of slides. So the question is control of recycle sludge rate is maintained by uh, of whom of ASP process okay, whether it will be MLSS or FBAM ratio or MLVSS or all of the above. My answer will be all of the above because ASP mostly targets to maintain MLSS and F by M ratio. But by maintaining the MLSS, automatically MLVSS is also getting to be controlled because 50% of the MLSS is said to be MLVSS. So I can also write MLVSS divided by MLSS is equal to 0.8. I will end this video. Uh, this, these are the references I have studied to make this presentation. Thank you.